my solitary seven year search is complete. Life goes on. What to do? Return to my academic perch, overeat. No person, vacation, nor faculty post will ever replace what I treasure most. Time spent alone with my truest friends, numbers, and all their astonishing trends. As a ten-year-old boy, I discovered the joy, the glorious joy of numbers. Femma was the hook. I learned from a book the mystery which he left behind and the proof to the theorem I swore I would find no matter the sacrifice and now it is done yes I was the one to reach this numerical paradise has been dear, that's one thing I fear, my family life has suffered, and although I found fame, it isn't the same as my personal private delight, for no one believed that an end was in sight, that a proof could be found which would prove watertight, that math and its history could change overnight. I swore that elegant symmetry of x squared plus y squared is square of z could not be repeated if n were three or more. Numbers, numbers, Squares, primes, imaginaries, irrationals. Numbers achieve a perfection mankind can never attain. To associate with such perfection, like pi or the golden section, is an honor, a blessing, a privilege, an art, for numbers themselves are only the start. The key to that exquisite world, where angles and arcs are unfurled, in the tiniest petal of a rose, or the hairs on the end of your nose, the beauty of numbers, the beauty of numbers is everywhere, and the world is simply a chance to reflect how all of these properties must intersect and lead down the Pythagoras path to the godlike power.